Welcome to ADP Training, YouTube's automotive technology channel. In this channel, you'll learn all kinds of auto repair secrets, how your automobile works, and how to diagnose it. Hello everybody and welcome to another video. Today we are going to analyze uh, the expansion valve on an HVAC, uh, automotive HVAC uh, air conditioning system. Now before we go any further, we are going to show you here on screen uh, the HVAC climate control um, uh, software that we have. This software, it's, a, it's an interactive software that helps you uh, with any and all uh, climate control, whether it's computerized climate control, so the electronic uh, the, the control ones, uh, you name it. And it, it, it has a lot of lots of sections within uh, the climate control system. Uh, so again, um, we're just going to briefly show you, you know, how it works pretty much. Uh, and then f after that, we're going to go into the uh, expansion valve and uh, operation and diagnostics. The software itself has multiple sections. They're all interactive. You pick your vehicle. It's got a, a pressure analysis uh, section, which is the one that we're going to concentrate on. It's got... Um, um, a simple wiring diagram, it's got uh, accessing codes, it's got uh, pressure, um, how to, um, it's like some kind of a, a table for, for the different pressures uh, in case you get the pressures in, uh, in metric systems and so on and so forth. Now on screen you can see the analysis for the uh, actual pressure and we um, basically th this, this particular analysis came out from a faulty, a known faulty uh, expansion valve. And this is when the high side is going to give you very high uh, pressures and the low side is going to give you very low pressures. But it's, it's not just that simple. The, the software actually analyzes the, the exact pressures that you put in and then it, make it, it makes an estimation um, de depending on, the, on, the, uh, on whatever your input is, whatever you told it to, that the pressure was. If you look on screen, this is a, this is a typical um, HVAC system. Uh, on the uh, left hand side we can see the compressor, uh, the, a the ECM that controls the compressor cl uh, relay, uh, it could be a, a, the relay, the clutch could be electronic control as well. We're going to go into that in another video because it's not, this, it's not enough for in, in this video, not enough time. So any anyhow, so as you can see the, the actual uh, Freon, the, the flow of Freon goes to the condenser first okay that's the high side and then it goes to the expansion valve which is in red here and this is like a little block sometimes it's an orifice tube it could be an electronic control expansion valve which you, we're going to go into uh, our next video and then from there it's going to go into the evaporator that's what gets cold so air blows through the evaporator that you see a um, little bit to the center to the right of the center to the right of the uh, of the little tank that you see there uh, and then the, the little tank is the desiccant dryer. This is a dryer that actually dries uh, and cleans the Freon, uh, which is the, uh, the refrigerant uh, agent, whatever it's used. Freon is just a, a branded, you know, a brand for, for, for this gas. Anyhow, and then it goes back into the compressor where it gets picked up again and it gets recirculated back in the, in the, into the system. So fairly simple. It's not that hard to understand. Uh, the complexity comes in, in the controls, both in the compressor, in nowadays you have variable displacement compressors, uh, which don't even have a clutch, some of them don't even have a clutch, and in the expansion valve control. And of course you have two uh, uh, pressure uh, switches, you have low pressure switches and high pressure switches, which uh, we'll, we only see two of those in here, but that's they're there in every system. You gotta have, you gotta know the computer has to know the low, the low side and the high side. It's pretty much the same as our software. The software has to know the low pr the side of the of the, uh, of the system and the high pressure side of the system. The expansion valve, as you can see here, uh, the the blue circuit to the left is the high pressure freon coming into the, and we're using an orifice tube for explanation, but this is the same, it's the same principle. And what it is, it's an obstruction. The orifice tube or the expansion valve is an obstruction in the system. And after to the uh, right of the, uh, of the photo here, uh, the diagram, we can see how the Freon, it's, uh, it's released into the uh, uh, evaporator. Uh, and that, that's 
how it gets cold. Using a water hose analogy, this is exactly what happens inside the uh, after the the expansion of valve. It's like when you have a hose and you're uh, 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 sprinkling the uh, the grass or, or some plants that you have. The, the output is high pressure, but it's dissipated. It's like a mist. And that's exactly what happens inside the air conditioning system. Whether it's in your house or it's in your car, it doesn't really matter. Okay. The, again, the complexity, it's in this case, we, we by turning uh, the water output, uh, the water outlet here, we can control uh, the mist that comes out with the water. But the reality is that that's exactly what the expansion valve does. Whether it does it mechanically or el electronically, uh, th that depends on the system. Expansion valves, as you can see here, they look, uh, so some of them look like a little block. Uh, and the, the, the big hole is for the, for the low side, and, the, and the, the, the smaller hole is for the high side. And the inside there, it's a, um, uh, it's a cone. It's like a little uh, valve, like a pintle valve, um, attached to the diaphragm that you see in there. Uh, again, this is inside. Uh, the expansion valve tends to be... It could be outside too, on the engine compartment, but oftentimes it's inside uh, by the uh, evaporator. Uh, so again, you have to remove that, and it's a, it's a big job, you know. But but anyhow, uh, the principle is pretty much what you see on screen um, on, on the animation that we have here. Uh, it's 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 pretty much a a pintle that moves up and down, uh, and it lets the freon just like we. The, the analogy with the water hose, okay, uh, and it lets the the freon um, pretty much uh, a, a mist. Uh, it, it lets a mist out, and that's how we get that gets cold. That action actually gets cold. The the change in temperature for freon, that's the way the gas uh, works. It gets cold, and then that's how air blows through the uh, evaporator, and that's how you get air conditioning. Now this video is pretty much more involved into the, the operation of it and, and how we can go about uh, uh, diagnosing with the software here. Uh, but basically uh, on our next videos in this series we're going to go into more into the uh, deep diagnostics as far as uh, how this thing works. If it's a mechanical valve, expansion valve like we saw on screen where there's an orifice tube with a little block that we saw, there isn't much in way of electronic diagnostics. Uh, once you go go with the with the, with the um, with the software, if if the software says change replace the expansion valve, there's a pretty big chance that the expansion valve is shot. Uh, otherwise, you would not have this high pressure. Uh, any anything above once you go above 300 psi, um, and and the low side stays really low below 20 or 29 psi, then you know that you have a problem with the expansion valve. That's a rule of thumb. Doesn't have to be. It could be other things too. You, it could be low on freon. It could be high on freon. Uh, you name it. But for the most part, uh, those are the the general analogy. And uh, if you can see on screen, uh, if you have a dirty expansion valve or that valve, like uh, or, or the orifice tube, like as we can see here. But if if the actual block, which is the uh, expansion valve, the block type with the diaphragm, if it gets uh, if that shaft gets um, stuck somewhere in in between or or in the closed position, then you have a you have a, a shot expansion valve. Later on in other videos, we're going to see the there's an electronically controlled expansion valve, uh, which is it's a little trickier to diagnose, and you you would need certain tools for that. But for now, uh, we like to thank you for tuning into our channel uh, each and every time. And um, again, thank you for watching. This channel is for do-it-yourselfers, as well as professional auto repair technicians. We present all the content using the latest CG animation techniques, on-hands video, and how-to, tips and techniques. We encourage you to subscribe to this channel now. Once subscribed, anytime we upload a new automotive tip, secret, or technology video, you will be notified. Finally, by subscribing, you will also be part of our weekly freebies. Yes, we're constantly giving away lots of free merchandise. Automotive Diagnostics and Publishing's Mandy Concepcion, the owner of this channel, is one of the most prolific auto technology authors on the web. At any moment in time, we may offer a free book, 
Kindle eBook, Android app, one of our own diagnostic equipment, or even auto repair software that runs on your PC. Subscribe now free of charge, learn lots of automotive technology secrets, and win free stuff. It doesn't get any better than that. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.